be a note to you guys that there are things that live inside of the hole, including a pipe, some shit. You know, like, the more I look at this, the larger that this hole gets. Eventually, I could just eventually walk through here. This could be my second door, man. My lair, you know. You never know how diabolic you are until you have your own hole in the wall. That's right. I caused this. Will we ever get it repaired? No. Because my stupid chair, this goes into the wall because of the angle in which my poor small desk is antiquated into my stupid little room. I mean, look at this. Look at this. See? Yeah. Yeah. Onwards to Margaret Watch, shall we? Whoever told you that the Margaret is not a living, breathing, fire-breathing machine? Well, Cement Robbie, with his Master Overload Court ship coat of doom, just getting back from getting food, and to save myself time of my food getting cold. We're still in leave the house mode, and in leave the house mode, I have two very, very, very interesting friends here. This is, and this is, they typically get chewed on when I'm hungry, just as any true fat man would do. So, Blue Shirt Squad, as for Master Overlord Blue Shirt wearing Robbie Cole, it's time to discuss the market. Alright, so, I'm going to get down to business here. We're going to keep this 10 minutes. There's a lot of other shit that I wanted to upload today for you guys. So, spirals. Yeah, you're seeing this right. We don't care about double helix. We'll talk about that when we get a circuit break. If you had told me... Oh, wait, I did. Ha, 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 yeah. Remember when I told you that stuff was going to start dropping post the whole YCS thing as we're going into November and December? Ha, ha, we did it. So... Super agents are approaching that nice, clean $15 mark. Whew. If you had told me a couple of days ago that this would happen sooner than later, I would have been like, ha-ha, mid-November I saw this coming. Um, but, I mean, that's a lot of super agents on the market at the moment. Uh, honestly, people just don't want to invest in the deck at the moment. And if they do, it's cheap. Everyone's unloading all their shit. They're like, you know, I had Columbus Regional canceled this weekend. Regionals, there's very few of them left for the year. Let's be real here. There's one more YCS in America, which is all we care about, which is the one in California. And that's about it. So card prices are going to start dropping. I mean, hell, look at fucking Super Big Reds. They're $9. And Super Quick Fix is even feeling this. Super Quick Fix is $4. All right? You can pick up three for $3, $10 shipped to your front door. You know, moral of the story, it ain't what it used to be, though. Though drones are slightly going up, still. <laughs> like, how the, the cheaper version of the shit... I mean, like, how, how great is Super Agent? Imagine if they reprint Super Agent as an ultimate in the next OTS pack. Think about the kick in the nuts people are going to feel. But, uh, hey, I, I wanted to make this video just to primarily say, Everything's dropping! If you want to pick up... Yeah! Now's your chance. Alright. Onwards to Circuit Break. Alright, so this one's actually pretty important. Even only matches are under 50 now. So, moral of the story. All right, sure, Lancia beats this card. Sure, a lot of people are playing Lancia. Moral of the story, though, you can pick up your evenly matches now for under 50. Now, are these going to sit at 50? I think this is one of those cards that warrants a price tag between 30 to 40. Yeah, I wouldn't feel bad paying $35 for a card that blows my opponent out of the water. This is kind of like Solemn Strike in a way. We had Solemn Strike for as long as we did. And... Psalm Strike doubled in price when it went from 3 to 2. Really weird how that works, but this card is going to be around for a very long time. And if you, for some reason, think that, oh, I'm never going to play this card, you're very delusional. And you're very misinformed about the future of what this card holds. When a card as powerful as this actually exists in the metagame, people have to make main deck choices and side deck choices for this. And, you know, it hopefully fixes the turn 1 board issue that's developing in the game. But hey, $47. Borlo Dragons are approaching 30 Yeah, I mean, they're going to be floating around 30 Now, I don't think he's going to... He shouldn't touch firewall levels because he's a one-of. And I... 
I've been wrong before, but a one of versus a three of, I mean, a lot of people didn't really buy this set. It is what it is. Um, and we've also not had the unlimited printing of this yet, but, um, I, I guess I feel okay paying 20 for a Bora load if I need one outside that I, I wouldn't want to pay that. It just, it, it don't make no sense to me. And then double helix over here, 27. This will just, if anything happens to this deck, anything, this is going to destroy itself. This will, I'm going to laugh. Hey, hey, future Rebbe, laugh at this mention of uh, double helix being $5. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh yeah, thanks, Pass Robbie. Uh, this one's something to be watching. For some reason, these keep fluctuating between uh, eight and nine, and they just they don't know what they want to do. I think that if you guys want a very solid idea, I remember when I made the Ultra Guys video saying you probably should pick up things. Vendred Chimera. You probably should have one or two of these laying around. That way, you don't get spiraled the next time the deck comes out. Heh <laughs> heh. Get it? Uh, don't get caught with the pants down. It's never a good thing. As manifests are slightly going back up too. These were a solid three dollars and change. I don't know why. Everyone really likes the, like this is the fun deck I've been told out of everything. All right, moving on along here. Ah, firewalls thirty eight and change on eBay right now. Firewalls. Oh, excuse me. The firewalls reapproaching back down to forty dollars. Uh, the cooldown period for these things is it's come. I mean, there's 54 total sellers on the market for these things at the moment. That's a lot. All right, don't get caught with your pants down. It, if you were waiting to sell your firewall because they might go up even more, yeah. I here here was my thing with firewall. Uh, firewall, if it doesn't get a reprint anytime soon, we still have the alternate art floating around. You've got plenty of star packs coming out next year. Um, 40 is okay. It, you take your risk. Your risk is your reward. You know what you want to pay for the card. You know what the card's worth to you. If you want to pay 30 on a firewall, then you may as well keep on hoping. The card will hit $25 someday, and I'll feel good about myself. Spellbook of Knowledge is still $13. Nangrisu's hitting 10 We did it. Rescue Ferret. Hey! Hey! Yeah! It's not good enough. Uh, I'm burning abyss. Stop. Gaia Saber's gonna... If if you're waiting to get a Gaia Saber, they're gonna drop a little bit. Alright, cool. Ash Blossoms are 71 at the moment, uh, heading on down. I don't think Ash Blossom's gonna hit the necessary low mark of 50. I heard a few people like, oh, it'll hit 50. I think they'll... If they go down super low and start crashing, they'll probably be on the lower end of the 60s. 61, 62 um, on Ashes, hopefully. Drawl Knocks are still expensive as butt. Super Airs are 30s. 27 on your stupid hollows, or on your rares. Someone asked me also today, should I pick up Drawn Lockbirds? I would wait. I wouldn't touch these for what they are now. Ghost Reapers coming in at 8 to 9 bucks. Okay. I mean, you need a set of these in a double helix. Mistake. I think it was a mistake that people mistakenly bought this card out. This was the target of a recent buyout. Fucking big whoop de doo Ugh. It's literally just because Burning Abyss actually ended up doing something, and people are like, oh shit, mistake's a card. I mean, okay, so look at these. You have sixes and sixes on the secrets, and then down here, the gold rare ones, which there are still plenty in stock, by the way. They're $1.47. I, I think it's so weird that people are like, oh yeah, I'm just going to buy out the secrets. You can still get Blair rares. There's still plenty of them in circulation. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid attempted buyout. Seer mode. So, this this is one of those, yeah, we're getting a special edition very soon. They're still $18. I don't know why. If you have this and you haven't sold it yet, there's a special edition right around the corner with a reprint of this card in it. Moral of today's video, don't get caught with your pants down. Um, if you were waiting for Carter Demises to go down in price, because you've been holding out wanting to get them, you can probably pick them up now. I think the ghost is clear finally. They, I mean, I don't feel bad about paying 22 for a card of demise, considering these things typically will hit 30. Um, these things are on the low right now. You know, this is not a bad time to move in on. Just pick yourself up a set. Not bad at all, actually. And then Solemn Strikes, John keeps talking about this in his market watches. Do I think they'll go up? The fact that this is already $6, I mean, moral of the story, yeah, probably. I wouldn't be shocked if these don't touch 8 within the next couple of months, just because if we go back into a stable-esque format, I mean, you can still pick up 
the MP16 secrets for eights. If you don't have a set of Slalom Strikes, you should definitely pick up a set. Shouldn't be caught with your pants down. Did you guys know that uh, Ultra Rare Skill Drains are still $23? I didn't know that. Did you? DTs are, uh... Really? Does a DT near mint just not exist? Wow, there's no DT near mint on here. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, Dante's, I wanted to just do a snapshot of these because Burning Abyss just stopped. Uh, Secret Rares from MP15s or 8s. Actually, these things have calmed down a little bit. Uh, Scarm's still calming down from his attempted buyout. Uh, TG Wonder Magicians, still 10s. Uh, and then <laughs> Secret Rares is still 10s. And, of course, the Ultras are starting to creep up now. What is going on with... Oh, stupid hype. Heat Wave is actually starting to make its way back up. The, these were down really low. Uh, finally coming in at 622, back up on the up and up. Uh, Ancient Fury Dragons are still godly expensive. 30 for unlimited near... Yeah, unlimited. Well, ugh. So, you know, I, I figured these would be the things to drop. But no, Fairy's still holding. Uh, Cypher and Gamma, uh, still 22. Robbie, do I need a place in a Gammas? Not right now. Not for that price. I'm good. Uh, invocation. On Friday, I made the video saying, hey, they're down. They're 22s. Well, uh, they're going back up. They're 24s. Um, if you want to pick them up now and you, you feel comfortable with this, 23s and 18s on Macabas. It's not going to get much better than that. For some reason, Rage and... Oh, cool. Meltdowns are up, up, up again. <laughs> Dollar eighty four. You do your job, Kraken. I believe in you. Hold that ground. Uh, did you guys know the Ghost Ogre Ultimates are going up as well? Sixty ones on these things. Terraformings are sitting in a nice thirty two. Uh, I'm actually surprised these are down. If you want to pick up an, a set of Ultimate Whiptails because you think Zoo is going to be relevant again, um, I think this is the investment that somewhere along the way you're just going to be like, oh shit, I won six dollars on these things. If you uh, want a super long term. I, uh, if Super Snows can be $4, this card needs to be more than 5 It's just me. That's, that's all I really got for you guys on this market watch. Ooh, $1.19. Ooh, $2. Oh, no, I lied. Yeah, no, $2. God, even these are cheap. Ugh. All right, that's all I got for you guys on this market watch. Yarg, I'm a pirate. That's all I've got to say. So, since you guys like plundering my treasure and taking all of my, my booties from my market watch, let this be a life lesson to all of you don't ever eat the booty if you know what I mean it is not worth <sighs> alright that's all I got for you guys fucking enjoy your Monday well, we'll have metagame money up for you guys later today the ride never ends guys make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my card fight vanguard channel and join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.